Welcome all wrists and welcome back to another unboxing. Let's take a quick 360 of this out of box here. Very simple with Silver Citizen branding on the top. Let's take the lid off. Here we get some black foam padding. Our warranty details, very simple, very minimal. Let's take this box out. So nothing else in the outer box. Now here is the actual box. It's very heavy, very substantial, feels solid. I believe it's wood, but I'm not 100% sure. Some nice hinges there. Felt on the bottom so you can slide it around without worrying too much about scratches. And I like how this one has a clear display window so you can see into the watch and you can kind of use it as a display box keep your watch in there and you can see the watch without having to open the lid now opening her up you can see there's some citizen branding here and i like how it's still visible even when it's closed nice touch Ooh, it feels very nice to open and close feels very solid let's take the watch off for now we'll put the watch to the side all right, here's the pillow. Let's give it a squish test. <laughs> very nice. This um, cover feels very, quite thick. Uh, it's not leather, it's like a, uh, hard to explain, a thick velvety material or satin material. We get a microfiber cloth. Very nice addition. Always good to have so you can clean your watch. Get rid of those smudges. Hang tags. Spare links so it is sized to my wrist. And that's about it. Very simple, nice compact box. Um, I like the color scheme and it looks good to display your watch in as well. The inside uh, lining is made with the same material as the pillow as well. So it does match quite well. It's not leather, it's like this like synthetic lining, like a very thin seat belt. <laughs> All right, let's put this to the side and we'll get to the watch. Here it is guys, this is the Citizen Series 8 GMT. And right away, just having it in hand and looking at it, it has this crispy feeling to it. Everything looks incredibly sharp incredibly detailed and it just feels very premium it feels like a premium watch despite the prices you can get this at i mean look at the dial you get on this watch it's a textured dial with a lot of detail in there i like the gmt hand and the gmt text the way it just pops against that black dial the contrast is really good and i like how they've gone with um, orange now, what I also like about this GMT hand is the body of it, or the stem, it's done in like this black um, color. Sometimes it looks like a navy color in the light, but I like how having it black, it just fades away into the dial. So all you really see is that orange hand there, and it kind of just looks like it's floating along the dial. It keeps it rather clean, and uh, you just still get the added feature of that GMT aspect without having that uh, extra protruding hand glaring at you. Now you can see there, the indices and hands are finished very well. The indices have a mix of brushing and polishing, while the hands are just those polished, faceted hands. Everything looks incredibly sharp on this. It's very, very crispy. It's it's an incredibly well done watch i mean getting it in person it really does look different look a lot better than uh the product shots and photos the text is done very nicely too the bezel the color is very vibrant now it's not a ceramic insert it's actually um, an insert that's covered by a crystal now i'm not sure if it's a sapphire crystal so I will have to do some digging later on, but the bezel insert does look incredible. 
and it matches well with that sapphire crystal as well giving it a nice sheen overall so you can see like this it's a very very glossy uh, look but it's a very good looking watch and this sapphire crystal the anti-reflective coating they've put here looks really good i mean it doesn't even look like there's a crystal on here that's how clear this thing is now going back to that dial i think they made a really good choice by having it black because if you see all that texture and detail the black dial kind of just hides a bit of it and gives it more of that um subtle feeling so it's not too overwhelming um but i like how up close you get to see all those tiny little details there and when it's you know further away it gives it more of that subtle um kind of like a matte tone to it so it really just plays well with that glossy uh, bezel all right let's take a look at this bezel action bezel action on this is rather good i like how it has these notches for the bezel to uh, go into it's about a 48 click bezel so that's very nice uh, you can see it's very fidgety it has that uh, you know a bit of audible feedback and very good tactile feedback for a gmt which i i find is really hard to find um, gmt watches don't usually focus on the bezel action itself but on this one it's actually rather nice and um, I'd say everything works pretty well. The only thing I'd say they could work on is the actual bezel um, construction. It is rather smooth and slippery, so you don't really get a good grip. Uh, I mean, it's, it's usable, but I can imagine if you have like wet hands or um, sweaty fingers, it might be a little difficult to grip. But overall, this feels very nice uh, to play with, and I prefer this bezel action over the GMT Master 2 and uh, the Seiko Prospects GMT. So that's a good thing going for Citizen. Now this is a true GMT, so if I pull the crown out one notch, the hour hand will move independently. And this is also how you adjust the date window as well. And if you want the GMT hand to move, we pull the crown all the way out and we can adjust it this way. Once you've found a position you want it in, push the crown back in and one notch, again, we can adjust that hour hand. Now looking at the bracelet and the case, this is where the watch gets its own identity. It is part of the Series 8 line of watches from Citizen, so you will notice some similar design choices uh, with their other watches and you can see here the finishing on this watch is just so well done the brushing is very fine and the polishing is done very well the transitions between the brushing and the polishing is incredibly sharp no smudging look how crispy this watch looks and what i like about this what makes it so unique to me is check out this side profile shot it's not your typical just one dimensional um, flat side or curved side. This has so many facets to it, so many faces. Look at this. Such an intricate case design, and it is an integrated um, bracelet, so it flows extremely well. And the case has a very geometric shape, and so does the bracelet. So everything does match up rather well. I like how the bracelet. In between the brushing they got they have these little polished sections which really helps to uh, give a bit of flash to that bracelet but also ties in well with the polished um, components on the case there so it is predominantly brushed but it does have polished um, elements here and there to give it a nice flashy edge to it and uh, while keeping it rather um, subtle and I like how it's more predominantly brushed because it will wear a lot better. I mean, it hides scratches a lot easier. And I think it just looks better when 
there's polished accents instead of having main polished um, elements. Now, one thing to note about this bracelet is how thin the links are compared to the actual watch head. So look at that discrepancy there. You can see the height or the thickness of the watch head compared to the thickness of the links. So this watch, it will probably feel very top heavy on the wrist. And if you see here, the links are adjusted with uh, pin and collars. Okay, so it will be a little finicky um, to adjust the bracelet. Now you do get some uh, half links to play around with, but there are no micro adjustment points on the clasp. So something to keep in mind if you do find it hard to um, get a good fit with just half links and normal links. Now the clasp itself, Citizen Branding here, it reminds me of their um, signature series clasp. Very similar, uh, very simple clasp, milled and uh, rather compact. Nothing really special about it, but it does fit in well. As you can see, it's a very rectangular clasp and the watch itself has a very rectangular feeling to it. On this one, we do get a display case back so we can see into the automatic movement. And I believe this is a sapphire crystal protecting it. Now, although it's not the most decorated and prettiest movement, I still find it cool to see the inner workings of your watch, no matter the price point. So this is a nice touch and I always welcome display case backs. Here it is on my six and a half inch wrist for your reference and right away it is very comfortable and despite its geometric shape, it wraps around the wrist rather nicely. Now, going back to the watch head, it is top heavy. You will definitely notice this on your wrist. It's not a light watch. Um, having that thick watch head in comparison to the thin bracelet, you can feel, or I can feel, the balance is off. I can definitely feel that watch head. It is noticeable and uh, you will notice this watch on your wrist. So that is something to keep in mind if you don't like um, hefty watches. Personally, I don't mind it. I like feeling watches on my wrist. I like knowing it's there, but I do know um, it can be a nuisance for some. And going back again to that dial, I like the legibility on this. The GMT hand and text is very legible. They pop really well against that dial there. And I like how the dial, even though it's very detailed and textured, having that black really just gives it a subtle undertone and really just gives it a casual sporty look. All right, lights off. It is a cloudy, rainy day, so there isn't as much sunlight trickling through my windows as usual. Um, it's not a completely darkened room, but you can see how this loom is performing here. It's looking very bright, uh, very nice application. We get it on uh, the indices, even at where the date is, and on the hands, none on the seconds hand, none on the bezel, and the GMT hand does have the loom as well. And because of that orange color, it is kind of changing the shade of the loom on the GMT hand. So it does give it uh, a differentiating color, but it doesn't look as bright due to the pigment that's used. There it is, guys. I hope you liked my first impressions of the watch. Once I spend more time with it, I will do a more in-depth review. And I will compare this to the Seiko GMT. And if you guys want, I will compare it also to the Rolex GMT Master 2. So guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more watch content. I'll see you in the next one.